Hi guys and welcome to another quick look Surface RT video where I look at something for the first time or pick up on a positive or negative point. And this one is a negative, a big negative actually, in the whole sense of the tablet. Not necessarily a big problem for me, uh, but it is a big problem that we need to look at. Let's have a look at the capacity of this tablet. 32 gigabytes. That's how much it says on the box, you would, so you would expect something in or around about that amount of capacity. Well, let's have a look at my tablet, which I've had for about 48 hours now. I've downloaded one or two small applications, but nothing major, and I've not put on any media videos or anything like that. So let's see how much capacity this tablet currently has. I can go to the settings, and then tap on change PC settings, and we will look at this thing in the middle here, which says, says available storage. You have 14.8 gig available. Are you trying to tell me then that when I purchased this tablet, I had less than half of the advertised capacity? Well, the answer seems to be pretty much yes. I may have put a few things on there, but I've certainly not put on 17 gigabytes of data. So the question is, where has it all gone? And the answer is that the uh, operating system takes up a massive chunk of the available storage on this tablet. So the next question is, is this acceptable? And the answer is absolutely not. This is astonishing in a number of ways. First of all, that a tablet can take up so much storage space. The argument is that this is a Windows 8 uh, operating system which gives you more functionality. That may be the case, but still taking up so much capacity on a tablet which, as always, there is a very much a premium space on a tablet. And should we accept it? Well, one person hasn't. If we go to a news story, we actually see that a US man has sued Microsoft over the storage claims. Now, Microsoft have given them given a pretty wishy-washy response, which is this. Customers understand the operating system and pre-installed applications reside on the device's internal storage, thereby reducing the total free space. Yes, I agree with that. Um, Surface with Windows IT customers benefit from the ability to attach additional storage via integrated micro SD slots or full-size USB. Well, we're not really interested in the workaround solution. Uh, the fact is that your tablet is advertised as 32 gigabytes. Now, if there was one or two gigabytes taken up by the operating system, as is the iPad, as is the Android tablets, then I would accept that. The problem is you are taking away 50% of the potential storage capacity on a tablet which you are going to use a lot because it has so much functionality. So it's a very negative point on Microsoft's um, new tablet. And there doesn't really seem to be anything we can do about it unless this person succeeds with his claim and then God knows what's going to happen. So let's have a look at the solution Microsoft do actually suggest and that's to use a micro SD card slot. The question is, where is it? Well, let's find out. Just going to uh, take off the keyboard and open up this latch here on the kickstand. So when I open up the kickstand, and apologies if the camera is not taking this up very well, but there is, let's see if I can get some light in here, there is a micro SD card slot here. So I can put in an SD card slot, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And it's, I'm going to do this for the first time, so we'll see how this works. If I can see... So it's spring-loaded, I don't know if you heard that, but I managed to spring-load the SD card in there, and I can assure you it is there. The camera is not very good on this, but it's in, so we'll have a look now and see what this gives us. I'm going to go to the desktop and try and find this, because I'm not sure where else to look for it at the moment. I can see here at the bottom that it's picked up a device 
So I plugged in a micro SD card now and we have devices with removable storage and now I can put some stuff on here if I wanted to and I actually already have some stuff on here uh, that I can look at if I wanted to just quickly open up a random picture just to show you uh, that now I'm taking stuff directly off the SD card whether I can install applications on there I'm not entirely sure if we check the settings has this affected my ability to store stuff it still says I have available 15 gig of storage to put on apps so there could be an issue about whether I can get apps onto the SD card so it's only artificially cr um, increased my capacity if I can't put anything on there other than just um, static data like videos and music and so on so that's a quick overview of the memory problem and it's a big memory problem if you want to get a 64 gigabyte version of the Surface RT uh, which I think in the end leaves you with about 45 gig uh, to begin with uh, that costs an extra 70 to 80 pounds, so $100, 120 $30. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, your comments are very welcome. Um, and I will do some more investigation on how the micro SD card can help support the uh, storage problem. Uh, but for now, I'll see you in another video soon.